Hey guys, it's uh, it's been real windy here lately, so I'm not doing a whole lot of flying outside. I figured uh, figured I'd show you around my my FPV multi rotor. You can probably see the trees. It's pretty bad out here, actually. It's it's probably gusting upwards of 20. I know on the coast it's doing about 25, which is pretty crazy. Maybe bring a sloper out there. But this is a Talon Hex with a few modifications. Obviously this ugly pipe insulation. That's um, in case I go down in water, over water. I already lost a tricopter actually. I had a tricopter flying over uh, Surfers Beach in um, California and, and it actually lost a motor and went down and sunk with one of my uh, one of my precious 600 5.8 um, transmitters, FPV transmitters. It had a uh, KK board on it, a bunch of nice motors, new battery, and the downside was my GoPro was on there, and it, it all sunk and was lost. So I'm going with the floaties from now on, unless I'm flying over, uh, you know, if I'm going inland and I know I'm not flying over water for a while, then I'll take them off. It does actually fly better without just this extra mass trying to blow it around, but it's not too bad as it is. I've got uh, NTM... What are these? 28, 26, 1200 kV. And the kicker on this one is the landing gear. Because normally this comes with just these hooks. But instead what I actually did was I took the landing gear off of the HAL, which is pretty nice and surprisingly sturdy, and um, drilled and mounted it. And what I also have is this piece of wood here I put on there so I can mount my GoPro hanging from the front and then offset the battery backwards. But I'm going without the GoPro, transmitters unplugged and everything. Um, here's another really cool thing. It took me a long time to figure out how to completely isolate vibrations from the camera. I've seen a lot of guys just throw on props and all of a sudden they've got this beautiful GoPro footage, but it's not ever worked like that for me. Never ever. I've always had vibration. And this was the first time I ever actually managed to isolate it. And what this actually is, is just two blocks of wood. I glued on earplugs and then I'd, my previous version was nine earplugs this one's five earplugs, and what I did was the earplugs would rip over time because you're suspending the GoPro upside down, so it's tugging on it, and it was constantly moving around, so they would rip, and you'd have to keep re-gluing it, and it would eventually lose its dampening. This is actually RTV silicone that I brushed over it and let cure kind of continue to brush. So it's a little sloppier than my next one will be, but um, I'm actually thinking about starting to produce these a little bit. I know some people really need that isolation and this is just great. It's going to hold up really well too. And uh, another cool thing is if you lean way over, the camera will actually sort of self-stabilize itself a little bit. But um, I'll show you how it flies. Hopefully it'll do pretty well. I know it does pretty well in the wind in general. But we'll see. Clip in here. If you want, I can do a um, tutorial on the build of that vibration isolator as well. All right, what do we got? Medium rates. Okay. I have it set up so it's very, very stable. This is the whole point of this craft is to be stable. And um, I also have very low rates, specifically so I don't jerk the camera around too much. But this is in wind too. If it's dead calm, this thing is ridiculous. Right now, see that? That's hands off. It just leans right into the wind. There we go. So, let's see here. I'm not going to be doing any flips with it, that's for sure. But yeah, it's a really nice craft. Oh, 
big gust of wind. Look at it fight. Look at that thing just lean in. That is too classic. We'll see what it does in a descent. One way I judge stability of these things is how it descends. That's so good. All right, let me put it down. All right, so that is my FPV hex. I've gotten some uh, pretty interesting footage with this. You'll also notice that I've got a black prop on there where a red belongs. That was from a couple days ago flying. I actually got hit by something and it shattered one of my props. And the funny thing was you could see the blade of the prop go flying down in front of the camera. But the crazy thing is the, um, the board just completely restabilized it. It became a little hard to control, started dipping towards that side for a second. And then once the prop stopped oscillating and decided to track straight, the, the board just counteracted by giving that motor probably a good 40% more. And um, I brought the thing back. I, I knew I got hit by something, but I wasn't quite sure what it was. And um, didn't know that I had lost a prop. So I got it all the way back, walked a quarter mile back to my car from where I was flying, and then realized that one of my props was shattered. And that's how good that board and six motors controls. It's just absolute insanity that uh, I lost a prop and brought it back and didn't actually feel the difference. Once that, once that prop uh, started tracking straight again, I didn't actually feel the difference. You definitely could see the difference in the video. It got all wobbly and, and um, you know, was pretty, a lot of vibration going right through it. But uh, it's, uh, it's a good setup, real potent. I really do like hexes. Hexes in an X configuration for FPV seem to be the the magic marker without throwing too much money into your into your setup but um thanks for watching i hope you enjoy it let me know if you guys uh want more plane stuff more multi-rotor stuff um i actually have the tenth scale short course truck the new one that hobby king came out with that just showed up in the mail about 20 minutes ago so um i think i'll do a couple videos on that not a huge car guy anymore but uh i know the basics and i definitely think i'll be having some fun with that and I may just end up strapping it to a multi-rotor. <laughs> so we'll see about that. So stay tuned and uh, thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Bye.